Because like, you can export to DirectX 4. I think it's always OPGL. It's just an implementation of. So they have an implementation of OPGL for Windows and Mac. Oh, so. Alright, so the infantry units is just stand around you, but then like the blue guys, they're like reaching the heroes, and they are going to reach my health and my environment. So that's the reason why they're like the most powerful right now. And I'm going to have to do this with You basically have to run them and touch you, or like that guy just took a bunch of your ammo. I'll have to like, it's difficult because there's a lot of people, but then we are, ultimately we want to go to you pretty much just want to walk up to one of them, touch them, and see if they take your ammo first, and then kill them if they do. So we ended up. I like how John is talking about, like, so yeah, the hero units hug around you and they're like the outmost units on the freaking party. I was like, you liar. Why would you do that? Hey, everybody. Oh, you know? So, um, the basic idea is that you have to do this Pictures or video? Video. And both. Those two guys over there. They've been there for hours. Yeah, I'll play this. This is my game. Okay. Left click. Right click to the order of people. You can press Q, W, and E. Change what units. So like now I've set it to. Now tanks are coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Try to sort of outflank your opponents so that you can attack their base. I typed these controls up like Last this morning. Okay. That's cool. That's why there's a typo in there. That's right. Okay, what's this one? Good. Yeah. Hey. You're our fearless leader. This is What's ACM up? man, Mr. Ben Kerr. Ben, tell us about your game, please. How are you recording? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, pretty much, it's just like it kind of, I took the arcade style of different waves where you have to defeat them over and over. It gets difficult as you play it. And right. I just kind of took it and made it 3D. Okay. And uh, you're a helicopter pilot, and your job is to save your base from all the paratroopers falling. Okay. Nice and simple concept. Mm -hmm. You just uh, made it a little more difficult, a little more fun for people. All right. Very proud of my final product, too. All right, let's take a run through here. Yeah, I'll play a little for you. And then uh, made it a little more fun for people where they can switch to being in the cockpit. Oh, nice. So a cockpit in there, right? This is awesome, man. Look at the level of detail. Really impressive. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Dude, your helicopter's amazing. That's awesome. And then at some point, it just gets retardedly hard. Mm -hmm. I like the, uh, the blades moving in. Oh, look at the guys, the paratroopers. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I've played this so many times, just debugging it, mm -hmm. fixing controls. My, my goal was to make it really feel like you're flying a helicopter with like the, make, to make sure the controls, mm -hmm. even though simplified, still kind of made you feel like you had to really, you know, not just fly around, you actually had to think about going up or down. What are your plans for this game? Uh, are you going to do more with it? Uh, I'd like or? to. I'd like okay. to uh, do a lot more artwork detail, make the helicopter, like, you know, put like, actually, like, you know, put really fine detail and make it really look real. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to maybe remake the horizon line look a little more realistic. Um, and I'd like to make the base, the, because right now the base just has those painted colors. And I'd really like to, for when you're in the cockpit, like put more dials and stuff that like change and rotate as you play it. Okay. Like maybe adjust with your height, just just to really, you know, just to add that realism feel to it. Wow. Good job, man. This is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I'm spent. <laughs>